six and a half games up on the Clippers for the best record in the West. They have already clinched a playoff spot with over a month to play in the regular season. And of course, we are eight minutes away from first take here on ESPN, which means Max Kellerman will Max be busy. Neil. But we got him in here quickly. So I wanted to recreate this little debate that we had a few moments ago and let Max mm. weigh in. We're mm -hmm. sitting here talking about LeBron James, the season is he is, that he is having. Mm -hmm. And I already know what you're going to say, but for those who don't, in your view right now, is LeBron James trending towards being the MVP of the league, and are the Lakers trending towards being the NBA champion? Well, he, he's moving in that direction. He made up some ground by beating Giannis and Kawhi in the same weekend. But Giannis is the MVP of the regular season, which is a ridiculous award in the first place. 50% of the teams make the playoffs, over 50% of the teams. You should wait till the end of the year. And this year in particular, there will be no excuses. Who is the best player on the floor, especially in the fourth quarter? That will determine who's the champion among a group of teams that I think most people acknowledge is likely to be the Bucks, the Lakers, the Clippers. One time, LeBron was the best player on the floor when he's played Kawhi this season. They won that game. The other two times, Kawhi was the best, season, the best player. They won those games. But in the regular season, it's probably a moot point because Giannis has simply had more value than anyone else. I strongly disagree with the take that we shouldn't have a regular season MVP. First and foremost, you have to incentivize players for the 82 games, especially now in the era of low management. This is why you have player of the week, player of the month, and regular season MVP. And Giannis has been that from the beginning of the season. LeBron is closing ground. If there was only a finals MVP, Max, to your point about 50% of the teams making playoffs, say, for example, in the 80s when the Celtics won the championship. You remember when Corbett Maxwell was the finals MVP? You can't have him be the MVP. Jalen, that's a season. straw man argument. I'm not arguing finals MVP. There's no playoff MVP. Like, make, if you want two separate... There is a there's playoff a, MVP. A finals MVP. Finals MVP. No, no, that's one series. What about all the other series? And yeah. what I'm saying is when you... There's no such thing as an MVP from a non-playoff team. Why not wait till the very end and then... Because what we're really saying is, who's the baddest man on the planet? It was LeBron for a long time. It was Kawhi last year. Can LeBron regain the throne? Is, can go, Kawhi defend it? Can Giannis take it by force? That's what we're asking. How do you guys factor into this? Because I've heard a lot of coaches say this, that they will not relinquish the scheme on Giannis because they want to wait until they get to the playoffs to a certain degree. That, right? So when you see him have these numbers hmm. that are incredible numbers, but then you see the strategy change in the playoffs, what does that say about the regular season? That is true, Jay. But I was sitting there watching the Clipper game. That's exactly what they just did to the Lakers. Y'all think they're going to let LeBron James dribble three, four times on the post without double teaming him? Y'all seen LeBron James at the top of the key? You did a great job of breaking down that screen and roll. In the playoffs, they're going to blitz I agree, that. I agree with you. I said or that, Or yeah. switch that. So they weren't doing what they're going to be doing either. Well, except the one thing about the Lakers and LeBron, and I, oh, I agree with you that LeBron's just incredible. I'm not giving him extra points for being old. Like, that, that historically will reflect very well on him. But right now, but against the Warriors in 16, he, they played, they played. Fourth quarter, you knew what was going to happen. They're going to hunt mismatches, him and Kyrie. And there was nothing the Warriors really did to stop them. Like, LeBron is a basketball genius. So go do it. He's Magic Johnson, but with, like, Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant athletic ability. Hey, Rose, let me say this to you. Because you're a basketball savant, you pay attention to the game, your skill set was off the charts, right, for somebody your size. When you think about the best player in the world, that's different than dominant player in the world, right? Right. Will you say that Giannis is the best player in the world, or are you saying that he's still lacking some skill set? Because I think about the MVP, you have to have the whole package. You have to be able to give it to me whatever way you want. I just don't look at numbers. I look at you being dominating of the game, demonstrative. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. I don't see Giannis being able to do that. That's a great point. To me, the best players in the league are Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant. The most dominant player is Giannis. He's the unstoppable force. Did we don't have LeBron James? We don't have LeBron James. And LeBron James. <laughs> okay. Those, oh, that those, guy. Not a skill set, though. We've not been basically set. playing three-card Monty with those three guys the last five years. Two-way wings are always the guys Correct. you want. I'll just LeBron, say, Shaq in his KD prime. KD and Kawhi. I hear you. Depending on what year it is. Shaq, LeBron, KD, and Kawhi. Shaq in his prime was the MVP and the best player in the world, and his skill set was not as well read. Like some, that's good as a rule of thumb, what you said, but sometimes a guy comes along who can do a one-trick pony. I hear you. can't beat the trick. But I want to fix your argument. But you can. About, he, hasn't, he hasn't achieved the that's ultimate right. goal he yet. Needs a crime he hasn't part. won a world championship He, need, he needs a crime part. I want to fix your argument about playoff MVP and finals MVP. You need the people who vote for it to take into account that the guy on the losing team could be the best player no in the doubt. series. Facts. The Agreed. year that Andre Iguodala won it, 
LeBron James is on a sure. losing team. team. Yeah. He should have won it. LeBron should have been finals MVP. I agree with you. Definitely two he, years ago. We don't have basketball people making those decisions sometimes. And, That's why. and what a lot of people don't realize, there's only like 10 media people that vote for finals MVP. Because if I was one of the voters, I would have voted for LeBron James, even though he was on a losing team. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.